to Samuel, chapter 24. Again, the wrath of the Lord was burning against Israel, and moving David against them, he said, Go take the number of Israel and Judah. And the king said to Joab and the captains of the army who were with him, Go now through all the tribes of Israel, from Dan as far as Beersheba, and have all the people numbered, so that I may be certain of the number of the people. And Joab said to the king, Whatever the number of the people, may the Lord make it a hundred times as much. And made the eyes of my lord the king see it. But why does my lord the king take pleasure in doing this thing? But the king's order was stronger than Joab and the captains of the army. And Joab and the captains of the army went out from the king to take the number of the children of Israel, and they went over Jordan and started from Roar, from the town which is in the middle of the valley. They went in the direction of Gedai and on to Jezreel. Then they came to Gilead and to the land of the Hittites under Hormon, and they came to them. And from then they came round to Jidon, and to the world town of Tyre, and to all the towns of the Hivites and the Canaanites. They went out to the south of Judah and Beersheba. So after going through all the land in every direction, they came to Jerusalem at the end of nine months and twenty days. And Judah gave the king the number of all the people there were in Israel 800,000 fighting men able to take up arms and the men of Judah were 500,000. And after the people had been numbered, David's heart was troubled and David said to the Lord, Great has been my sin in doing this. But now, O Lord, be pleased to take away the sin of your servant, for I have done very foolishly. foolishly. And David got up in the morning. Now the word of the Lord had come to the prophet David, saying, Go and say to David, The Lord says, Three things are offered to you. Say which of them you will have, and I will do it to you. So Gad came to David and gave him word of this and said to him, Are there to be three years when there is not enough food in your land? What will you go in flight from your haters for three months while they go after you? What will you have three days of violent disease in your land? Take thought and say what answer I am to give to him who sent me. And David said to Gad, This is a hard decision for me to take. Let us come into the hands of the Lord, for great are his mercies. Let me not come into the hands of men. So David made a selection of the disease, and the time was with the days of the grain cutting, when the disease came up among the people, causing the death of 70,000 men from then as far as Beersheba. And when the hand of the angel was stretched out in the direction of Jerusalem for its destruction, the Lord had regret for the evil and said to the angel who was sending destruction on the people, it is enough, do no more. And the angel of the Lord was by the grain floor of the Aruna, the Jebusite. And when David saw 
the angel who was causing the destruction of the people, he said to the Lord, Truly, the sin is mine. I have done wrong, but these are only sheep. What have they done? Let your hand be against me and against my family. And that day, Gad came to David and said to him, Go up and put up an altar to the Lord on the grand floor of Ahuna, the Jebus side. So David went up as Gad had said and as the Lord had given orders. And Arauna looking out saw the king and his servants coming to him. And Arauna went out and went down on his face to the earth before the king. And Arauna said, why has my lord the king come to his servant? And David said, To give you a price for your grand floor, so that I may put up an altar to the lord, and the disease may be stopped among the people. And Arauna said to David, Let my lord the king take whatever seems right to him, and make an offering of it. See, here are the oxen for the bond offering and the grain cleaning instruments and the ox yokes for wood. All this does the servant of my lord the king give to the king. And Arauna said, May the Lord your God be pleased with your offering. And the king said, Arauna, no, but I will give you a price for it. I will give to the Lord my God bond offerings for which I have given nothing. So David got the grain floor and the oxen for fifty shekels of silver. And there David put up an altar to the Lord, making bond offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord gave ear to his prayer for the land and the disease came to an end in Israel.